you. I want to thank Unite Minneapolis, the people of Riverview, and the South Siders. Being a North Sider, I'm not really used to being here on this South Side stuff. Uh, a little too white out here, but don't worry about that. You guys all look the same to me, so it's, it's no problem. What? All right, all right. Sometimes we have, oh, we're going, good. I jumped to the first one. Tonight, we're gonna talk about the greatest movie ever made about getting a job. It's 75 years old. It's been shown in this theater, in the Heights, and in the Camden. It is The Wizard of Oz. It is memorable, and it's as relevant today as it was back then. This movie, when you look at it and you lose your job, you're in a job where you probably think, I need a different job. You look at these people and they're thinking, well, look at the middle guy. Look at all of them. They want to be somewhere else. They want a different job. But when you're thinking that way at your job, you usually lose your job. Yeah, you lose your job just like a tornado hits you. You lose your job like a hurricane or a twister. You have no idea when you've been outsourced, offshored, or you've just been laid off. But, and the worst part is if you look, your boss is riding your bike home. It's not, not a good thing, but, but it does work. And then you end up in a world that you have no clue where you are. It's totally different people. You got government regulations. You got these little people talking to you, telling you everything you need to do. And if you look close, some people even write you off as dead. Don't let that happen to you. What you need is a plan. Dorothy had a plan. You need a plan. Follow the yellow brick road. Update the resume. Get on Indeed, LinkedIn. Start to network. Network with everybody you can. You can do it. And when you network, don't forget to network with the people that are high up. It's good to have networking with people in high places. And don't forget your little friend Toto, too. You need to bring your friends along. But your friends need to be a certain type. They need to be smart. They need to have heart and they need to help you face your fears. Without those friends, you're not gonna make it in this. But if you notice, they're with you, lockstep, sometimes skipping, and you're following. <laughs> but be careful too, there's people out there claiming to be your friends, they wanna help you, they're really not out there to help you. As the saying goes, it only takes one bad apple, and we don't want that to happen to you when you're looking for a job. But when you do have that job, like we heard earlier in the Golden Parachute, have those companies listed, which ones you want to work for. Find out what they're about and find out who's in there. And again, you can see those companies. You can start moving towards them. That's what you need to do. But remember, too, at this day and age, they're all going to give you a drug test. So stay away from the poppies. <laughs> the non-medical. Pharmaceuticals, don't touch them. And if you come from Colorado, forget it, mountain woman. Don't even try it. <laughs> and then when you get there, you need to have your elevator speech. You need to be able to tell them in 30 seconds or less who you are, what you want, why you're there, and how you can help them. Some of us have to do it in 15 seconds. <laughs> and then, because I want to keep my job where I work, I can't use this department. But there are departments and companies, large and small, that are working to keep you out. They're trying to say no to you and they're looking for every reason. Don't give it to them. Because when you go onto their online computer application, you look at it, do what the Tin Man did. You need to sharpen your ax. That's right, get back, get some more certs, get a higher education, go back to school. You can work through that. And then this one, I have nothing for it. I just like the slide. <laughs> but in the corporate world, if you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Just remember that. <laughs> this working? Oh yeah, just checking. Okay, and then you finally get the interview. It's time for you to step up. That's right, put on the shoes, get the ruby slippers, do your hair, and Mary said it right. If you change your underwear, you can change your life. <laughs> Sorry, you'll, you'll get it later. It's... <laughs> when you have the interview and you meet the man, that's the person with the money, the authority, the need, you need to stand up there toe-to-toe, -to -toe. you need to look them in the eye. You need to be able to ask good, smart questions, show that you have heart and you have no fear. And then, we also learned about the golden parachute. That's your job, and you're not in it. 
you need a plan B. But on the golden parachute, he has a job. Don't be a dick. Go back for your friends and save them, okay? <laughs> Finally, your plan B. Remember, if you work hard, you follow the plan, you always have the power. Each and every one of you, you have the power inside to change your job, your life, your career. So when you do get that dream job, don't look on these work hours like Mountain World. You need to get out of bed, get to your job. Quit talking to your friends and families and tell you how good you're doing and get out of there. But, and I thank you. I appreciate it. Have a beautiful night.